Fuck the intro. Neb is one of the most gorgeous games I have ever played. Backed by a heart-wrenching story about how the loss of a loved one brings both human and animal closer together, followed by a soundtrack that does its absolute best to have you in tears for the entirety of the game. I mean, after just one minute alone, Neb will have you looking like, well, this guy. And it doesn't stop there. Nomada Studio and Devolver came together to deliver one of the most amazing games of all time. After playing through the entire game, I can easily say that it takes a spot in my top 5, which is absolutely insane considering it only takes about 3 hours to beat. Now, Neva starts off with one hell of a cutscene. Like I said before, in the very first minute of the game, you're instantly overwhelmed with all kinds of emotions, and believe it or not, that level of emotional depth is a defining characteristic of the developer, Nomada Studios. As soon as you hit play, you're immediately filled with a sense of warmth and calmness as you see the beautifully bright colors and soothing music. Except, next thing you know, those bright colors begin to turn dark and that soothing music quickly speeds up, elevating your heart rate as the battle begins. As the battle progresses, it gets faster and faster. Then it all stops. The music turns to a slow, dreary melody. As you turn, you see the dead body of a beloved friend. <laughs> then you're left with just one emotion, sadness. Shit, with all the different emotions you go through, you'd have thought this was the next Inside Out movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the craziest part about all this is the fact that it was done by such a small studio. The developer Nomada is a small team based out of Barcelona that was founded only six years ago. Since their company was founded, they developed only one other game, Gris. Personally, I haven't played Gris yet, but I don't know. There's just something about it that makes me think it's an amazing game. Both Gris and Neva are backed by one of the biggest publishers in all of gaming, Devolver. Unless you're a weirdo who's been hiding from the rest of the world, you've heard about Devolver. I mean, they're responsible for publishing popular games like Cult of the Lamb, Enter the Gungeon, and Inscription. And if you pay even a little bit of attention, you can quickly tell the developer has a knack for supporting unique types of games, and Neva is no exception. Neva's story progresses as smoothly as the seasons in a year. Well, actually, the progression of the story is the seasons of the year. And in an almost symbolic fashion, Neva's story begins with summer. Okay, okay, the story technically starts in the spring with the cutscene and all, but when you actually start being able to play the game, you're in summer. So, for the sake of the video, the story of the game starts in the summer. Ah, summer. A time of the year often categorized by warmth and abundant life, representing freedom, happiness, adventure, and self-development. I mean, at least that's what Google says. Jokes aside, Summer and Neva does represent a majority of those things in a multitude of ways. Starting with the music, composed by Berlinist, it does a great job of keeping the warmth and comfort that you'd expect in the summer. Through its vibrant melodies, each note stands out in its own unique way, keeping you engaged and energized during the start of the game. What makes it even better is the artwork. I keep a firm stance when I say that Neva has some of the best artwork I have seen in my entire life. I mean, the art during summer is nothing short of breathtaking. You're breathtaking! The rich, warm color palette does an amazing job of bringing the environment to life. That, backed by rays of golden sunlight that just add a majestic glow over everything, I mean, it was just perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. And, believe it or not, the artwork doesn't stop there. The lush greenery and blooming flowers are not only beautiful, but they also represent growth and resilience in the game, and more specifically, in Alba and Neva. Since the loss of Neva's mother, you can quickly tell that their relationship has grown substantially, as they now venture through the unknown. As you progress in the game, you quickly realize the darkness that took Neva's mother is still here. This leads Alba to defend and protect Neva, as the young wolf is still unable to protect itself from the darkness. Batman would never hit her defenseless woman. Funny, I don't have that problem. Moving through the season, Alba protects Neva from everything they encounter, and together they complete different puzzles and survive, at least until the end of the season, where you encounter your first boss. To be completely honest, the boss is incredibly easy. All he really does is just jump at you, so as long as you know how to roll, you'll be fine. But to be honest, the game isn't made to be hard, it's made to tell a story, so it makes sense that the boss is easy. Anyways, right as Alba's about to defeat him, she calls out to Neva, who runs over and helps deliver the final blow. After doing that, she does what every normal wolf would do. She turns him into a tree.
Now, fall or autumn, for those of you who are super pretentious, in Neva is all about transition and decay, with it arguably being the most important season in the entire game. As you enter the new season, you see that Neva has significantly grown since the summer. Some would even say that Neva's transitioned from a young wolf to a young adult. See what I did there? Nah, hopefully you did. In fact, Neva is now able to protect herself. As you fight the darkness, Neva helps you fight any enemies that you come across, showing that both Alba and Neva are doing their best to protect not only themselves, but each other representing a deeper growth in their relationship. As this happens, the world around them can slowly be seen decaying. The art is now shifting to a deeper, more melancholic hue as the tones of orange, red, and brown create a somber atmosphere. The music slowly follows behind the art as it begins to move away from the warmth and comfort and into something that holds a slower tempo, thus evoking a sense of contemplation and uncertainty as the decay continues to fall throughout the season. Now, for those of you that didn't understand anything I just said, let me break it down for you. Music slowed down to make you feel different. Fall is a critical point for both Alba and Neva. For starters, this is the first time we've seen Neva become more independent, meaning that this season is kind of a turning point in their relationship. As the darkness continues to grow and get stronger, they're faced with a plethora of different challenges. The first of which is actually our first glance at the Queen of Corruption. Long story short, she uses her power to destroy a tree that we were climbing up, and we then race up to the top, but it was all for nothing because we still fall at the end anyway. However, the more important challenge happens towards the end of the season. What I mean is that in the last few parts, the story goes from being in the real world to being inside of Alba's mind. As you transition, you can see the inside of our mind, and it's nothing pretty. It's a dark, dreary place with a red and gray color scheme, almost as if it's trying to represent hell. First, you start off alone, struggling to do anything, but it all slowly becomes easier as you find Neva, and it begins to help you overcome the challenge in Alba's mind. Looking back on it now, it's pretty clear that the developers were trying to represent this as seasonal depression. A dark place inside your mind that traps you in and hits you almost as soon as winter comes? Yeah, that's seasonal depression. I have crippling depression. Anyways, I think the point they were trying to make is that with the help of someone who cares about you, you can escape from it and be happy again. At least, that's what they do with Neva helping out Alba, thus leading us to winter. Winter is where everything changes. The worlds become a cold, desolate landscape, symbolizing the hardships that await both Alba and Neva. The art and music match this feeling to a T. The once vibrant warm colors have now completely vanished and become ridden with cold mute colors, thus making the world appear harsh and unforgiving. The music has now shifted to a somber, haunting melody that shows how empty everything has become. Winter tests Alba and Neva like nothing else before. As the season starts, you can see how Alba and Neva's relationship has grown even more, as their fighting style is now one. Alba is now able to control where Neva is going and who they are fighting, meaning that they can fight together. This shows that Alba and Neva's relationship is as strong as it's ever been. Well, that was until they met another wolf. Now, naturally, you can see where this is going. Yeah, at least I hope so. Neva eventually takes off with the other wolf, leaving Alba all alone. This puts the ultimate strain on their relationship, as they are now separate for the first time since starting the game. Alba continues to trek on until she comes face to face with the Queen of Corruption. As the battle starts, you can quickly tell that she stands no chance of winning. That is, until Neva comes back to help, showing that even though they're apart, the bond they've created can never be broken. After a long fight, they finally end up defeating the Queen of Corruption, thus bringing winter and the spread of the darkness to an end.
This brings us to the final chapter of the story, Spring. With the defeat of the queen, everything has begun to return to normal. Music, artwork, all of it. But this is where things get interesting. Shortly after the season starts, the cutscene from the beginning of the game begins to play again. Except this time it's a little different. The one change that happens is instead of everyone being defeated and the corruption growing again, this time Neva and her child come together and finally defeat the queen once and for all, thus ending the corruption for good. The only downside is that Neva is left dead, leaving her child and Alba behind. When I first saw this, it really got me thinking about the game. Spring is often seen as the start of a cycle, meaning that even the ending is showing a symbolic relationship to the season. The cycle of corruption coming and being defeated happens every year, just like Spring. So it really begs the question, how many times does Alba watch one of her best friends die? Neva is more than just a game, it's a journey of loss, love, and resilience. As you traverse alongside Alba and Neva, you're reminded that life, much like the seasons, is a cycle of growth, struggle, and renewal with each phase reflecting the emotional landscape we navigate in our lives. In just three hours, Neva captivate us, leaving a lasting impact. It's a testament to how the power of storytelling and gaming, a reminder that even in our darkest moments, hope can flourish and bonds can endure. As you finish the game and continue in life, you carry the message that every ending can also be a new beginning, echoing the eternal rhythm of the seasons. <laughs> Hey guys, just wanted to hop on here real quick and say that this is something a little different than what I normally do, and honestly, I don't really know how I feel about it, so just let me know in the comments if it was something you liked or if I should just stick to what I normally do. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, go ahead and drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one.